The moment the Queen was hastily ushered to safety following a security alert in Jersey's capital, St. Helier. She and her husband, King Charles, forced to cut short an engagement showcasing the island's industries and net zero targets in an open air location. Royal sources have now confirmed after every precaution was taken, which appears to include taking cover in a nearby hotel, the small issue of concern turned out to be a false alarm and their majesties resumes the day as normal. The King and Queen are on a two-day visit to the Channel Islands, their first since Charles's accession, and represents the special relationship the royal family has with the bailiwicks, which dates back to the 1100s. The mace, gifted to Jersey by Charles II way back in 1663, took part in yesterday's special ceremony with King Charles III in Royal Square. Mr. Bailiff, I am most grateful to you and to the States for the warm welcome you've extended to both my wife and myself, and for the assurances of devotion, loyalty and allegiance to the Crown you have expressed on behalf of the people of Jersey. Pomp and pageantry, as well as heavy rain, follows the King and Queen from the UK. A royal gun salute was fired by the 1781 militia before the King met local lawmakers. And homage was paid. The royal couple gifted locally laid duck eggs as a symbol of sustenance, as well as seven Jersey cows, which will be taken to the King's Highgrave estate. Although the Queen got a bit of a shock when two of them started the breeding season early. They finished the day with a tea party, attended by veterans, royal patronages and emergency service workers. Today, Charles and Camilla travel to Guernsey for an ancient ceremony in honour of the island's monarch. Cameron Walker, GB News.